Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to remove a phone line using uh, DX uh, oh, uh, Photo Lab uh, version 6 uh, retouch function. Uh, before version 6, retouch was referred to as repair, but uh, they've added some things to it and done some improvements and such. So this is how you remove a, a phone line. Now we're starting off with this photograph here and you can see this phone line is kind of distracting right here. A lot of times when you're taking pictures of something that's an abandoned building or something, uh, you, you might actually want to leave phone lines and stuff uh, for various reasons. But in this case, it's kind of distracting because of the angle. I probably should have shot it at a slightly different angle, but I don't think I really noticed the phone line or wasn't paying attention. And it is pretty distracting in here. So let's just get rid of it. The first thing you want to do uh, before you retouch a photo uh, as a rule of thumb is crop it only because if you get the crop right first if if you intend to crop it at all uh, then you may cut out parts of the photograph that you would otherwise have to retouch and in this case we're going to cut out part of the phone line here so what I'm going to do is I am going to um, go up here to crop I'm going to crop it over like this. I don't want this house there either. So I'm going to crop the house out. And then I'm going to move this down. And so that's cut out the phone line in part of the top of the cloud. I am going to crop it a smidge more. Uh, only because this will keep us from having to deal with the top of the cloud. Which will be a little more, would be a little more challenging if you want to keep that. Because... Uh, you have to make the edge look reasonable in that. And when you retouch something, it, it, because there's an edge to the cloud, uh, it's not impossible to do, but it's just a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna just cut that out just to make it easier. This is just a demonstration. So uh, we're not gonna spend a lot of time on this. So, all right, so here's our new crop. Now, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna kinda get this exposure levels and such to where we want them. I'm gonna bring up the shadows some um, maybe to there uh, maybe mess with the midtones a little bit and bring the highlights down a little bit uh, that looks pretty good there we might want to bring the exposure up just a tad that looks pretty good we could put some contrast on that and that will pop that up if we look at this So this is our original picture and this is the one after we've made the edits. So let's go with this. Uh, once again, I'm not spending a whole lot of time uh, fine tuning this because it's just a demo on this line right here. So I'm gonna zoom in here first. You can see a major problem right here, right off. There's a lot of wood grain, very visible and a particular pattern on this um, painted plywood. And so that can be a problem. If it, if it was a board just like this that's just a uniform color and there's really no grain in there it's a little bit easier to blend so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the retouch tool now we can resize this tool and we want the brush closer to the size of this line because the closer we can get to the edge of this the easier it is to blend it uh, you can actually go, also go down here and mess with opacity and feathering, but we're not going to bother with that in this case. So if I go right here, I'm going to just take this section out with the most grain right there. And I'm going to do it a section at a time. Now we want to click here and show masks. So you can see it's taken from this area that's more of a solid white. So what we want to do is we want to click on this dot here and move closer. I'm going to click on it again, maybe move it down, move it up, see where it looks best. That looks pretty good. If we turn the, the mask off here, it, uh, it, it's really remarkably good. Most people wouldn't notice that. If you're sending this thing off in Instagram or a very small uh, format, you don't have to spend as much time. If you plan to blow this up really big, you need to try to get it 
as best you can because the bigger it's blown up the more obvious it will be uh, but this looks really good so I'm going to show the masks again I'm going to go here I'm going to go to this part right there and going to once again I'm going to take this and move it a little bit Closer. I don't the last part right here. All right. So if we go here to erase the stroke, we can pull up on that some. And let's get this as a separate um, part of the mask because it's a little bit more problematic. So we're going back here to paint it. And that looks pretty good right there. Let's turn off the showing the masks again. So that looks really good, I think. Um, so let's go for this next section right here. Next. Once again, I think I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. And we're going to have to turn off show masks. That isn't perfect, but it's not it's not bad. Let's uh let's move this down here and move up to the next section. We want to do this section with this board separately because it has a much different coloring and texture to it than the rest of these boards. So let's go back over here to the retouch. And we're gonna go from here down to here and let's show where the masks are let's turn them off again that does not look bad there that blends pretty good so now we're going to go up uh, let's turn off that and move up here we're going to go up and finish off this uh, phone line I'm going to go back up actually to the very top that looks pretty good and then let's take this last very bottom part all right let's turn off show maps so that looks really good so if we zoom back out here, it's uh, it's going to be less noticeable. Like I said, the farther away we, you always want to zoom into it to see if you can get it the best match that you can. But farther out, it's going to be less noticeable, and the smaller the image is being used. So on Instagram, for instance, nobody's going to notice any of that. Uh, if you blow this up to 20 by 30 inches and put it on the wall, somebody might be able to go in and see some of the defects. So you would want to spend more time if you intend to blow it up really, really large. But this tool works great. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. And it's very easy to use and to manipulate and to move around and, and check your sample areas. And, and uh, another thing to remember is when you're doing a phone line, do a small section at a time because it makes it a lot easier in the end because if we did that whole phone line as one piece, it would be hard to line up the textures so they were optimal in each area of the phone line. I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.